get him. Hitting the quarterback. Oh, I love hitting the quarterback. My goal is to get that certain look in his eye where he's scared to see me. If I can sack the quarterback, oh, I'm, I'm living. I'm livid. I love sacking the quarterback. But just hitting the quarterback in general. If he's scrambling and he throws it away, just push his helmet into the ground or chipping him a little bit. Get him on the ground, let him feel you. That, that's perfect for me. That's all I want. play football in college? Yes. Yeah. When college scouts go to look at your film, one, they're going to look at who you're attacking, right? If you're reading the play. If you want to be at the next level, there's just a certain, a certain way you got to act and certain things that you have to have in order. If I do this, don't go engage him, right? So if you shoot your hands out at me, right? Boom, right? It's, it, it's one thing to, to have the physical attributes to to play football, but then the, the mental side of it is where most kids like. You have to love it at the next level. It is a job. It is a full-time job more than anything they've ever done full-time job. You think that this is the type of practice or type of mentality that they have at the next level? Well, you gotta step it up more. Right, you think you are good with your, your C's and D's, it's not gonna cut it. What's up, Moses? Good, What's up, Dwayne? What's, What's up, big? You know, Lamont is in our university high program, which is a, uh, within our district and within our school. We got back at like two in the morning. Two in the morning? Oh, no. Nah. I was asleep, bro. I was like sleepwalking on my way to the locker room, bro. I was so tired. Those students are able to participate in uh, interscholastic athletics, and it's a phenomenal situation. It's an accelerated program, one of the top high schools in the state. The velocity is increasing. That's why I like the initial velocity. The final velocity is going to be greater than the initial velocity. Lamont's academic load is probably twice what everyone else is. OK, so let's first find the acceleration. So acceleration is equal to final velocity. It's tiring, man. Like, I be trying not to fall asleep just to, like, stay engaged. But it's really hard, especially when we do our workouts in the morning. You have a specific example of how a politician's actions might be influenced by what region or state they represent. And again, if you look at that, I want a specific example, not a general. So many times now, you know, college coaches are asking it. One of the first questions, do they love football? Enjoy every split Little itty bitty second. Yes, I played all the way up until you know I had a, a slight chance in the NFL. I uh, bouncing around from training camp to training camp. It, it's it's a hard thing to do. You know you got to be a special kind of person, be a special type of player to you know receive that opportunity. A lot of them just think like, oh, if I don't get a scholarship, I'm just gonna do nothing, and that's really just a way to kill your future because there's a difference between enjoying your youth and destroying your future. Pushing Isaac out to every coach that, uh, that I know. Do me a favor if I forget to say it, help me with seven. Help All me right. with seven. Yeah, yeah. Send him, send him whoever you think he can play with. Yeah, yeah. All right. All right, brother. The, the key is pitching him to the right batter. I've talked to Nick Saban once. Nick Saban's the head coach at Alabama, and I've talked to him once. And it was for one kid, and one kid only. And that's, I've been now a head coach for going on 16, 17 years. And so we have to first have realistic expectations. So I'll coach outside here. Okay. My view is uh, you want to have as many options as possible, as many, so that, that opens up as many opportunities as possible. The more you know, the more you do, the more you have experience in, the more opportunities that are open for you. Kind of a sacred thing. Are they 
It's got its own hangar, its own special area. And Friday nights, he doesn't put it on until he goes out for warm-ups. I wear it every time now. It's every game. I haven't changed much since. He's been the same size for a decade? You gotta teach me his secrets. Coach Warbrock wore the sweater vest and then um, started winning. And he is one of the most superstitious people I've ever met. And so that kind of led him to not stop wearing it. I mean, I wouldn't mind wearing it. It looks kind of cool. My bet was, it was with my athletic director at Desert Edge, and it was that if we got to the uh, playoffs and were the number, a certain seed and had home games or something like that, I would wear a sweater vest, because at the time it was Jim Trestle time. So Jim Trestle wore it. And sure enough, he had went out and got that sweater vest and had the logo on it and everything, and from there, it just became my shtick. This is a huge game. It's a rivalry game, you know, for us. I don't know if it's much of a rivalry game for Westview just due to the fact of it's been 16 games. You'd have to go all the way back to 1995. That was actually the last time that Tolleson beat Westview, way before a lot of Tolleson, actually all of Tolleson's football players were born. Westview has dominated in our district for some time, and, and I was at Westview as an assistant principal for three years, and so it was always hard to uh, root against them when they played the maroon and gold, but uh, you know I had to pretend because I did have the silver and blue on for three years. But deep down, I was like, man, one day, one day we're gonna get them. So the newer schools tend to attract the best talent, the best coaches. So I think that's why you saw Westview dominate. You know, this is one of the goals from the beginning of the year. That to beat Westview. Hello. Hello. How y'all doing? Good, how are you? I'm good, go ahead yeah, and... Two tickets. Two tickets? One, two, three. Right Use tickets or just one by one? Do what your coach should do. Don't do anything else. That's all right. right? Do it as a team. Understand you got somebody to the left of you, somebody to the right of you. Nice. <laughs> Heat house. Nice. Ready, you say go. Seems like Tolleson is starting to turn the corner. Four wins in a row, and if they beat Westview, it'll be their first five-game win streak since 2002, which is actually the last time that Tolleson won a region title. Hey, let's roll, let's run, let's go! Let's go, baby, let's go! So we're waiting to make the friendly wagers between the administrators, but I don't know if they're gonna, you know. Uh, I'm uh, negotiating from a position of strength this year, I think. <laughs> oh, perfect. Come and get it, boys! Get the ball! ball. The last three weeks, it's been the same play. We're going to run our, run our counter right out of the shoot. Nice little run. Touchdown, Tolleson! is recovered by Tolleson. First down, Wolverine. Keep the ball in Seven's hands right now and let him do his thing. Keep whooping their butt. Get back, get back, get back. McGuire's pass is intercepted by number 20, Nick Sheha. Touchdown, Tolleson. Good job. Way to stay home. Good job, Chris. There we go. They're blitzing. If we pick it up, you know, we should be ready to go. Open, he's open. If they're not blitzing and they're setting back, we know how to block that as well. We have two teams that didn't play last year because of the pandemic. It seems like Westview is struggling a bit more. They had to hire a new coach. 
Tolleson brought in a very experienced coach who's won a state championship. So I think that's playing a big role in this first season under Rich Walbrock and his staff. They're going to throw that ball up again to him. Let's go. Hey. Including one of the best assistants in the state, and Coach Galante. He definitely told us and has the end. The backside safety's got to be looking for backside speed. Trevor Brown will be here watching us because uh, they have a bye. Kind of what you do. They'll, they'll probably sit on the visitor side. That's normally what you do. I uh, sat on the opposite side. Gorilla! Blue! It's going to be a show anyway, no matter what. Rack him. He's in, he's in! He crossed the goal line! Menendez with a carry. Touchdown, Wolverine! Contain the quarterback, you understand me? Understand? Craven's pass is complete. 34. And that's the ball game with your final score. Tolleson, 60, Westview, 6. We'd like to thank all of you guys for coming out tonight. Be very careful on the way home, and we'll see you soon at our senior night in three weeks. 25 years is over! Hey! football team with two games left. Decision. I couldn't be prouder of you guys tonight. Okay, I thought we came out ready to go. We were a little too hyped a little bit. There's been a long time that their faces have been up in. Now it's a rivalry now that we beat them because it hasn't been a rivalry when somebody wins 16 times in a row.